Once again, it was really hard to find a winner of the shoutout competition, so I decided to give a shoutout to two persons, both Causal Gamer 77 and My Majesty Ketchup Minecraft Party Edition Clash of Clans and other channels. Make sure to subscribe to their channels if you wanted to join the shoutout competition and read all the rules in the description of my video. Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually Photoshop on your Android device. So stay tuned. So what's up you guys, as I mentioned before, then today in this video I'm going to show you how to Photoshop on your Android device. Well, as you know, it's not real Photoshopping. Of course it's not. You can't Photoshop on an Android device. But anyway, the application that I'm going to show you is almost as good as Photoshop. At least it got a lot of cool features. Why don't we just get started? First application, which is going to be your main photo editor, is this one. It's just called Photo Editor. So what you do is that you basically just press New right here. Then uh, you hit Apply, or you can change the background color. Then hit OK, and you can change the resolution if you want to. Then next is that you can see right down at the bottom right here that you got a lot, a lot of cool cool features so you can change like the colors you can change the curves like how the gamma and a lot of cool things right here but if we add something to it which we are going to go do by going to text slash image and then just add something why don't we add some text photo shopping on android oh that's pretty cool well maybe we shouldn't have green text because then you can't see it <laughs> Then you can change the size right here and uh, we will just put it right here and then we'll add an image. We'll go to the built-in image picker. We can just add our profile picture. Well, you can do a lot of cool things, right? Then we hit apply right over here. Well, once we have done that, we can uh, do a lot of other things. You can clone things, you can make drawings, you can rotate the image, you can straighten it out, you can crop it, you could resize it, whatever the difference is. It is an amazingly good option for you who really wanted to make some good Photoshop art or whatever you want to use it for. But anyway, I got some other th other applications for you guys. This is for uh, removing the background from a photo. So if we just load a photo, well, I just chose my profile picture again. Then you can point this on the on the color that you want to remove. It's pretty fast and really fun to do. You can also do it manually, just like this, if there should be anything back which you don't want. The last photoshopping alternative I got for you guys is the, this one. It is for using like layers. So once you have made your photos that you want to put in layers, then you're going to use this application. You just chose the background photos to start off with. I've just chosen a white background. photos which will uh, go to a new layer and once again I'm just gonna use my profile picture Place it wherever you want to um, it's really easy really simple and it's all for free and there's no limitations besides the ads down here if you use all those applications right here together you can actually make some pretty cool pictures and images whatever you want to call it on your Android device if you have a YouTube channel it's a really good option for you well, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did then make sure to drop a like down below I would really appreciate it because I'm really putting a lot of hard work into my videos if you would do that I would really be happy also I hope you will share the video that would be really Really nice and I really appreciate that as well comment down below if you have any new suggestions or questions make sure to subscribe to my channel I would really appreciate that as well and I'll see you guys in my next video peace out